नमस्ते जेसिका जी नमस्ते हाउ आर यू आई एम ग्रेट थैंक यू हाउ आर यू आई एम आल्सो गुड ओके सो सिट इन एनी कंफर्टेबल पोजीशन लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर टुडेस क्लास keep your back neck straight and gently close your eyes take a deep breath in and deep breath out we will start our class by chanting three time of om all together take a deep inhale just feel the vibration and the sensation of the mantra in your body try to bring awareness to your breath to your whole body try to set up in intention for today's practice in yourself and join your both palms together in front of your heart center and grab your both palm and then give that warmness to your eyes again grab your both palm give that warmness to your face to your neck to your whole body and gently bow down your head towards god and ask god to give us strength and energy for today's class while blinking open your eyes om shanti everyone okay so yesterday we have done the natural breathing and the abdominal breathing or the diaphragmatic breathing or we can also say the belly breathing so today we will go uh, move forward to the thoracic breathing before that we will try one round or we'll do for a few minute the abdominal breathing so we'll not forget it that what we have done yesterday okay we'll repeat it so sit in any comfortable position and just try to focus on your belly try to inhale as deep as can you as deep as you can and fill all fill all the lungs with your air and then push your lungs down your diaphragm will be pushed down and your belly will puff out as you exhale your lungs will get back to the normal position your diaphragm will get back to the normal position and your belly will go in 
Inhale again, fill the air in your lung. Push your diaphragm and then your belly will puff out. As you exhale, belly will sink in. Keep it continuing, inhale. Exhale. Keep your inhalation and exhalation continue. Your eyes should be closed and focus on your breath. Bring that awareness, bring that intention. Do your breath. Try to take very slow and long breaths in and slow and long breaths out. Feel each and every bit of your breath. Feel that movement, how it is going in through your diaphragm. How your belly is coming out and how it is moving out from your lungs and how your belly is going in. Feel each movement of your breath when it is going in and out. Keep doing inhalation and exhalation. Keep in mind, you have to do this breathing exercise and the stomach. If your stomach is, if you have, if you had like breakfast, lunch or dinner, then keep the gap between your pranayam and your meal almost three hours, three to four hours. Do not do pranayam after having your meal. Keep pushing your belly out at the time of inhale and sink your belly in at the time of exhale. Gently come back, normalize your breath. 
Do not force your breath now. Let your breath become normal. And now we will move forward to our next breathing that is known as thoracic breathing or the chest breathing. Okay. So in thoracic breathing or the chest breathing, what we do, we'll do the same thing. We'll keep the palms like this, but this time we will not move our belly. We'll try to expand our chest. I'll inhale. Rather than your belly is coming out, this time your chest will open towards the left and right, and you will create the space for your lungs to expand. Okay, so open the thoracic region. Exhale. Keep sinking with your chest down. Inhale, again expand. So what is happening when we are doing the diaphragmatic breathing or the belly breathing, your lower lungs, okay? There's a three part in the lungs, upper, middle, and lower. So when we are doing the belly breathing, we are focusing on the lower part so the, ray, uh, the air which we are taking will reach to the bottom of the lungs. So that's why we are expanding our belly, focusing on our belly. Now we are moving towards our chest. So we are filling the middle, okay, middle part of our lungs. So this time we are focusing on the middle part of our lungs. So after uh, we have completed the um, lower or bottom of the lung, now we are moving forward towards the middle or the medium region of your lungs. So we'll expand it with inhale and exhale by doing the practice, but focus then your uh, belly should not move. It should be stable. Your chest is going towards the out. You can use your fingertips like this also in front of a chest. So as you inhale, your fingertip will move away from each other. Okay. As you exhale, it is coming back close to each other. So you can try it like this or like this, whatever you feel comfortable, you can try with both as well. So try doing it. First this we'll try, then we'll go for the fingertips as well. Keep doing thoracic breathing and focus on your middle region of your lungs right now. Our main motive is now to fill all the area of our middle, medium or middle region of our lungs. So we are focusing on our breathing, chest breathing. When we do chest breathing, our rib cages open. Capacity to take breath inside, but we have never practiced it. It's like a balloon, we can fill it like with so much of air. We are not using our lungs to the full capacity. That's why our breathing will help in using the lungs capacity to take more advanced level of the breathing. If our breathing, if we're gonna have a good control on our, on our breathing, our life will expand. 
the pranic energy which stays inside our body and move all around the energy channels it will stay in our body for a longer period of time so try to focus on your thoracic and expand your thoracic if you feel tired by doing the practice you can slowly come back and normalize your breath then again you can start it Feel that expansion of your chest when you are taking the breath in. Feel that contraction of the chest when you are exhaling the breath out. Feel the movement which is coming from your chest out and in. Focus there. do not let any thoughts coming on your mind except you are seeing you are watching to your breath if your mind is diverting try to create more focus try to get more focus into your breath and your body forget about anything which is happening nearby you right now just focus on yourself after doing practice you can feel now you are more aware of your breath you have focused you have created that focus on your breath so now you can see how your breath works now we'll try one new thing um, we required a bolster for that so we used the bolster or the cushion if you have cushion it's good if you have a bolster it's great so we have to sit like this in front of the bolster and then try to place your thoracic region on the bolster do not place a lower back just your thoracic region 
open your hands out, keep your knees bent. And now create more space and more openingness in your thoracic. Loosen your body, just bend your knees. Your upper body should be loosed. And now inhale. In this position, you can feel the little bit movement at the time of sitting, the belly movement is happening. But at this time, when you will inhale, all the air will go through your chest, not to your abdomen, and you can expand your chest more wide and abroad. In this position, my thoracic is getting that support from something like bolster or the cushion and my thoracic is opening. So my lens is getting more space to open and I can feel I can take more deep breaths in rather than sitting while in this position. So if you have anything bolster or cushion, you can try this. I actually currently don't have any bolster or okay. cushion, but yeah. Um, so okay. I put it right below my scapula like that, yeah. Yeah, okay. So whenever you will get anything like this, you can try it. So you can know that what is happening at that time. So for that. Better so why yes. do you do that like uh, before or after asanas like vinyasa or or okay. or is it a separate session uh, like for pranayam you can always start with doing the shat karma first shat karma is also very important if you can do shat karma the cleansing uh, excess kriyas of the yoga if you can if you can if you cannot do it you have a busy schedule just do your vinyasa your asana practice and after that go for the uh, relaxation of few minutes and then you can go for the pranayama. So you can try uh, as after asana you can go for the pranayama because if you'll follow the eight limb path also in that uh, if you'll study that uh, in that also yam, niyam and then asana and then it comes pranayama. Then pratyahar, dharna, dhyan and samadhi. So in uh, according to eight limbs as well we have to do pranayama after the Asana. It keeps because after doing the asana, we our body gets you know warmed up properly, and our nostrils get open. So after that, we can do pranayama breathing techniques to improve our breath more efficiently and nicely. Okay, so now we'll move forward to our next breathing technique. So we have done the abdominal, we have done the thoracic. Now we'll go for the calvicular breathing. So calvicular breathing, why it is called calvicular? Because this is our collarbone is known as calvicular bone. So under this, there is a calvicular muscle in there under our this collarbone, calvicular muscle. So you can drop your fingers like this on your little bit just lower of your collarbone. And now you have to just take a short inhale till it reaches up to your upper chest or your collarbone. Do not let through your um, chest to take inhale more. So just stop it there. Take a short inhale. This is a very shuttle movement. You have to understand it. Feel it. Okay. So keep your fingers a little bit down from your collarbone. Then inhale and try to feel that air is going through this side. But don't let you know, reach here to, uh, to your lower chest or your abdomen. Just stop it here only. So you have to take a very short inhale to understand this calvicular beating. And then short exhale out. Do not do it fast or forcefully. Just do it very simply and relax.
you can feel a little bit movement in your upper chest it means you are doing it correct now you are getting it if you are not doing it keep trying it try to control your breath and try that going down towards your belly or towards your chest just towards your upper collarbone or your upper chest Keep trying it until unless you get it. So what we are doing, we are practicing these three techniques because after that we will combine it for the yogic breathing. So tomorrow we will try the abdominal breathing. diaphragmatic breathing and the calvicular breathing together so i'll tell you that tomorrow that's why we are practicing it particularly particularly so we can get it when we we'll combine it so that's why we are separated it one by one so tomorrow we'll practice it so for now sit in any comfortable position you want keep your back neck straight and gently close your eyes Take a deep breath in and out. Now we'll chant one time Om all together, followed by three Shanti. Deep inhale. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Join your both palms together. Rub your both palms. Apply it on your eyes. Now gently pull down the head while blinking. Looking at your hands. Open your eyes. Namaste. So, if you have any question, any doubts, you can ask me. I'm okay, thank you. Okay. Welcome. See you tomorrow, Jessica Ji. Take care. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.